Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a Transit Custom. Uh, I think it's a 2018 or 2019 plate. So it had went through all the pads and discs. Uh, unfortunately you can see the big groove on that disc there. I put my big snap on, put over the snap on sun on there. Um, so I, the disc getting a bit poor. Even worse on that side, you see all the corrosion, all the swelling up. So we've got a new disc there, Let's see we've got the bearing out it. So, you can see what it is, it looks like it's a, a tapered bearing on this side, we will clean all of that of course. Um, and it looks like some sort of pressed in bearing on that side of it. So, anyway, so some sort of other type of bearing in there. So we'll need to look up top setting for that, see how that goes. You know these transits are out and you can see all the all your brakes there that's been come off and went on your ABS sensor, so it's just the magnetic bit of it. So we'll get all the spindle, all the shaft I can clean up as well. We're gonna get the other wheel off, get that side stripped down now as well. So sounds like old Squeaky's gonna go there. So old Squeaky, old compressor. Uh, she's getting a bit tired, so we're gonna pause here and come back once we've got that other side stripped. We're also doing the oil filter on it overnight. Got a new uh, OE filter there and as always we don't mess about, new some plug washer, new some plug bolt actually, it's like a rubber seal on them. Could probably buy just the rubber seal, but we just get the new bolt. Uh, they didn't give me the options, so we just went with that. So, thanks for watching again guys, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and have a great day, okay, wherever you are in the world, have a great day today. Right, so back on the custom, so you can see we've got a ringer uh, with the 45 or 50 torque bolts and there's a big 36mm hub nut that's holding the whole hub on so we'll get this all split off, it'll take the caliper off um, at the minute um, and get the two bolts get up here Back tools these ones are, I think, oh, what's happened, we've had a little spinny spin So, we are D's and D's this one. And the little brake wear in the care wire as well as in there. Just hooked onto the brake nipple cover there and it comes down. And this little plastic clip, if you just give it a little pry open, be careful not to break it. And you can get the wire back out. Even different. So. Screwdriver for that, eh? Big pad right over here, over there. Oh, I've got a dark one, I don't know. There's a dog. So, hopefully the big time is here. Make sure to cool today. Uh, Sunday, why am I here on Sunday? What has this happened to me? Why am I doing this to myself? Well, it's like it's welded in there.
It's so very rainy in Scotland. Imagine that. Yeah, that's what happens, isn't it? That's what happens. Always been a cold day as well, so it's even worse. Sore. Don't rub it. Didn't happen. Sod. Two hands anyway. Me boy can live with a sore finger, so can I. So anyway, he's gone. Granddad just called him there, says he's forgot all about it now. He's got chocolate and crisps and he's running about with his brother, so... There you go. The wee man seems to be okay. This is a spider bit, but <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't want to not believe him. He's four. He's not really one for telling porcupines, to be honest. So I've got a spider bit. That's the case because we're moving to Australia then. The spiders biting us in the Scotland. That's not right, is it? Jeez, oh, there you are, it's difficult. Thank God we got a new one, eh? Hey, so, I right, should always place that. Well, if it's cut through the pad sensor, then you're 100% need to replace it, but otherwise you have that nuisance light on. You should be replaced it anyway. You can see that. So definitely one. Weird too, because the obviously somebody had looked at these. If you'd looked up there, oh well, plenty of meat on it. And there is, but down there it's obviously been wearing a terrible angle. So that's for the bin night.
those. See that other pad? It's not, oh, what's happened? <laughs> yeah, you go. You see that other pad? It's not too bad. I've seen worse. So yeah. Well, do you have a new one anyway? Right, so I'm gonna slot down. Any major fuss? Time now. Hammer time on Z disk. So you guys that maybe play Sammy over on the north side. So it does look like it's all one kind of pressed fitting in there. So it kind of makes me wonder then where's that bit went for that dust seal because that looks like it's missing completely. Then.
Back to the shop and play big clean. Let's give it a little wipe. Don't need to do with the gloves, text too. Don't need to go on. A little bit. Just a little bit. That right, you be a sense up. Again, got a little metal off it. It's got a lot of pads in this. Right, so you'll see if it gets bolted down. Right. Let's see. Hey, it's not tight. How So as you can see, new pads and discs, I'll give the disc a clean again. We're going with the self-employed mechanic method of cleaning a brake disc. So a bit of, a bit of that will do it. 
Let's have that all because it'll clean up. Get all this green's marks off it. Be back more there. Be back more since it's Sunday. Since it's Sunday. Sorry. So there you go guys. If you've liked this video, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel and have a great day. And that is one rear pads and this done, the transit custom. Right, so that's the P's and D's all done. I'm not sure when that's burnt. I think this might be a wee bit noisy. Hard to tell. Oh, there's a little wheel key. Right. Don't want that. Oh. So that burn came apart, no bother. This one separated on me, so that one was stuck on the shaft. So just need to wait and see how that goes. So just I've checked all the tyre pressures, they were a bit all over the place. This one was up at 50, so was the driver's front. Um, and the two passengers side were at 40, so I've just put them all to 40, I'm assuming maybe somebody's made a mistake here, so aye, only thing left to do on it now is just check the oil level on it, fire it up, check the levels, um, and then reset the service light, and we might need to revisit that wheel burn, but, so that's unfortunate, but it is what it is.